Hello, everyone. So in this, this is going to be uh, continuing on with the line graph example that we did earlier, which was reading in from a CSV file. Um, and we, we were able to create this uh, graph here. And what we're going to do in this video is put a couple of labels on here, a X label, Y label, and a title. And then from there, we're going to be adding two more packages. So one is NumPy and the other is statistics um, in order to show the mean um, of, this, uh, of this data set as well. Um, it's, you know, it's nice to have this, uh, the variability, see the variability, but also another, you know, helpful addition to this graph would be to add like a line showing the average for CJ McCollum during that, that season. So what we're going to do here is we're going to um, add, so we're going to do plt dot x label. So first is going to be x label. Um, and then this is going to be the number, right? The game number. So game number. And next is going to be the Y label as well. Y label is going to be points, right? Points, uh, points scored, right? Points scored. And then um, we're going to give it a title as well title uh, CJ McCollum points per game uh, 2016 17 season right and then uh, and then we can just do a run hit run here hit run and now yeah so we now we have a title we have the Y label here point scored and then we have X label as well and we want to suppress this outputs here. So like, um, we can do this here. Now it's just the graph here. So that's just a simple, you know, just being able to label, label the graph. Now what we want to do is we're going to do a couple more import statements. So we're going to import NumPy and statistics in order to get the mean of this data set. So Import um, first is statistics. Just type in statistics, and then the other is going to be import numpy as np, right? And uh, let's do. Uh, actually, we can do statistics, and then we can call this as s as well. Just a s. Um, and uh, then we'll just hit a current. Oh, we'll just restart it and run all in order to get all the imports done. This was all the imports are done. So we'll add a cell above here. So insert cell above. And then what that's going to do is basically we, we want to show like the same thing. We want to show like the mean coming on this plot as well. So what we're going to do is first we need to find the average. So we'll, we'll create a variable here. So we'll call it average. Average equals um, statistics, which is s, just s, dot mean. So statistics, that package, has a mean, um, a mean showing up. So basically, what we have is we can just call mean, s dot mean. On, on that data set. So mean is a function within the statistics package, right? So data, put to PTS, and then, you know, just uh, we'll see what it is actually just print out the average and then we'll run this particular block here. So this is the average, right? But the other thing now, what we need to do is why we create, added in NumPy was being able to create an array so we need to actually, in order for it to make sense to put a line here, it would need to be the same length as uh, our data set, which was 80 numbers. So what we're gonna do is from this, we have the average number. Now we have to create an array of averages. So 80, uh, 80 uh, the, the array will have 80 values 
and each value will be the average. So then you'd have that, that horizontal line, right? So then uh, we're gonna create the average array. I'm gonna call it average array equals, we're gonna take average and multiply it by NumPy. NumPy is MP, right? What we named it, or you can name it whatever you'd like, but uh, we named it uh, um, NP. NP dot ones. NP dot ones, and then it's then you can create. So this will create a, an array of ones, just ones, and you can specify the length, right? So it, like for example, like if you wanted ten things, you just have to put like NP dot ones, and then put a ten there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in a length. Right, call the length of data and PTS, right? And then uh, now we have the array, right? So then we'll just hit run on this, right? Now, now what we're gonna do is we're going to add, we're gonna add that in as well. And now what we wanna do is uh, let's just do like change also like um, put it a different color. So we'll put a red color. So plot dot uh, plt dot plot. And then we're gonna put an average array is what we're gonna be plotting. And then the color is going to be R, right? Save all of this and then let's do a restart and run all. Yeah, there we go. And uh, can take a look here. That's, uh, we want to suppress this as well. Gonna run, there we go. Now this is showing uh, original data and as well as the average, which, which was around 23 points per game. So yeah, glad you, uh, glad you could join this, uh, join for this video and uh, any suggestions, comments will be really helpful. And if you did like this content, uh, please give it a like. And uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, basically, just um, you know, imp uh, improving or having more description, making a graph, taking a graph and making it more a little bit more descriptive. You know, using um, the functions in Matplotlib as well as statistics and NumPy. Thank you and uh, see you in the next video.